Food is good for the body, but for the obese, overconsumption can cause unhealthy weight gain. Anyone with a body mass index of 35 or more is considered to be obese. Of the 7,000 annual operations conducted in Sweden, half are bariatric surgeries, and the most commonly used is gastric bypass. A new gastric bypass research run from Örebro University has been made. One of the researchers, Eric Stenbeck, explains the need for this research. We started to, to um, see a new complication, uh, which was a small bowel obstruction with people being very, very ill, and a few of them even died from this complication. Um, and it seemed to be as common as perhaps 10% of all the patients that we operated. During six years of research, patients were randomly selected to try the new method. Surgeons are optimistic about the results. It will, it will improve the quality of what we are doing in gastric bypass because uh, the risk for having an, a postoperative complication will be reduced by this. Uh, so uh, um, with less complications, better quality, better results. With gastric bypass, the size of the stomach is reduced. The bypass is then joined to the duodenum, which is the upper part of the small intestines. Small amount of food will make the stomach full, and one third of weight loss is expected. Personal trainer Oscar Turugut believes a good exercise plan is the only solution to weight loss, and that gastric bypass surgery is not important. I had a client a couple of years ago, and he was like 180 kilo, and uh, in two years, we made him go down from 180 kilos down to 90 kilos. However, the chief surgeon, Ingmar Neslund, has a different opinion. No one has ever shown that you could treat a, major, a, a larger group of patients with severe obesity, with training or lifestyle changes. There, ain't, there aren't a single study. The surgery is done once, but the exercises could take years the decision of which depends on the patient. The researchers are quite sure that this method will help other surgeons in the world to reduce complications. Simo Boahin, reporting for Unifier.